So let's start off with matrix addition. Um, this can work with matrix subtraction as well. So let's add A plus C. So start down here, so A plus C. When you add these two matrices together, um, you'll have the same size. So it should be two rows by three columns. You need to select that area and say equals to. Select A plus C. And then don't press enter. You have to press control shift enter. Okay, so if you only got one value right here, uh, it means either you didn't do the control shift enter or you didn't highlight the, the entire area. Let's take the transpose of A. So the transpose of A will kind of rotate it a bit, right? So it should be three rows and two columns. So select that area. Say equals transpose. Yeah. A. And then control shift enter. And that looks right. Okay. And the reason why I did transpose before multiplication is because we can't multiply these out uh, by itself, right? Because if we want to multiply A by B, for instance, um, you know, the number of columns of A is not equal to the number of rows. But here they are. So the number of columns of this is equal to the number of rows of B. So let's multiply the transpose of A by B. And of course, you don't have to do this, I'm just labeling. Okay, so this is three rows and this is two columns, yeah. So the output should be three rows and two columns. Say M mult. That stands for matrix multiply. We're going to put in our first array, or first matrix, uh, comma, matrix B. And then control shift enter. Okay. So let's say we want to multiply um, transpose of A times B times C. So A transpose oops, times B. Uh, let's do A actually. So that should be a 3 by 3, right? So M mult again. Select the first, comma, second, and control shift enter. There we go. Okay, so uh, we can take the inverse of this now. So Embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> is equal to so M inverse select your array and control shift to enter. And let's do the determinant. So D equal to, I hope I'm spelling these right. As you can see, I'm not an English major. Um, so, M the term. Yes. And then select it. And you don't have to press uh, Control shift enter Maybe you just press Enter. Uh, because it's, the determinant is just a number. It's not a matrix itself. So just press Enter. And there we go. 
Okay, so uh, we did some matrix addition, and this could be done for subtraction as well. Uh, we found the transpose, used that transpose to multiply by B. Uh, did another multiplication, we found the inverse, and the determinant. So let's try to uh, apply some of these to, a, to an example. So we're going we're gonna to use uh, multiplication and the inverse of a matrix to solve a uh, to solve a to solve a problem. So this is our set of linear equations that we're going to solve. I put all of the coefficients into matrix A, and then the the right hand side over here into matrix B or uh, column vector. B. Okay, so we're going to solve for uh, x bar. And the way we uh, solve for this equation is we just send A onto the other side, right? Well, we usually can't do matrix division, but we can take the inverse of A and then multiply by B. So let's do that. So over here, I set up my A matrix and my B matrix, and I'm going to take the inverse of A. So A to the minus 1 should be 3 by 3 is equal to N inverse of A. Control shift enter. And then x bar is going to equal to um, column vector. That'll be m mult of uh, inverse of a times b. So inverse of a, comma b. Control shift enter, and there we have it. So x is 6.9, and that's y, and that's e. Okay.